Before you can go on to create a growth mindset plan for your learners, you need to do a bit of self-reflection and analyze your own mindset. Do you have a desire to look smart or a desire to learn? Do you have a tendency to avoid or embrace challenges? Give up easily or persist in the face of setbacks? See effort as fruitless or as a path to mastery? Ignore useful negative feedback or learn from criticism. Strive for grades or embrace the learning. Do you feel threatened by the success of others or find lessons and inspiration in other success? Chances are your responses might be, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. That's okay. Most people want to embrace a growth mindset, but we often struggle with the habituation of fixed mindset thinking. We want you to reflect on the state of your fixed or growth mindset and evaluate where you currently are and where you may want to be. Shifting from a fixed to growth mindset is an ongoing iterative process and I can speak from personal experience that I still have struggles with a fixed mindset and I often have to remind myself that I'm not there yet. Please don't make the mistake of thinking that adopting the growth mindset is similar to believing in the power of a positive attitude. Research and life experience confirm that the growth mindset isn't just an attitude, it is a behavior. Adopting the growth mindset is one of the first steps that you can take on your way to embracing the learner's mindset, which is a state of being where people act on their intrinsic capacity to learn and respond to the inquisitivistic nature that leads to viewing all interactions with the world as learning opportunities. If you want to be a perpetual learner who has a capacity to change and views challenges as opportunities for growth, then adopting the growth mindset is your first step. Over the next few weeks, you'll be analyzing and evaluating what it'll take to make them move from the fixed to the growth mindset. Once you can see the progress you can make for yourself, you can then shift your thinking to how you can help your learners adopt the growth mindset and help them change their focus from grades to learning.